my name is Joshua Agbola, and today I'll be talking about my journey into tech. My name is Joshua Agbola. I'm, I'm a programmer, future skills activist, speaker, and tech coach on technology topics. As she said, I'm involved in the advocacy of the teaching of tech skills early to young people. And also, as she said, I also run a YouTube channel called Josh for Tech, where I teach kids tech. You can subscribe, so you can check it out on YouTube. Um, proficient with, some, with a lot of language and frameworks, just like Love 2D. I use game platforms like Love 2D, Unity. I also use Laravel for PHP. All those things, all those pro, pro, programming, programming stuff. I'm also working on a course which will be uploaded to Udemy and other places in a in, in a few months. So, um, how did the journey be, begin? So when I was two years, I loved to hum songs and even loved to mix singers. And I remember one funny day, after dealing with a bone of chicken, I took that chicken and started singing my favorite songs. So uh, my mom and dad saw my interest in music at the age of six and got me a piano teacher. So I, I, my, my morning routine was, like, I, I, I read my Bible, I pray, then I get into playing of the piano, uh, even in the morning and even in the night. And I started getting in invitations to, for music presentations from a lot of places, including my school and, uh, and my sister's college. And that um, built my confidence over time. So I started coding at the age of six and uh, I, and when, they sent me to Genius Academy. So Genius Academy was like a programming school, but it was not for people from my age. So they were like, this boy is too young. How will he even be able to pop in class? But by that, they said they create an, a curriculum for me. And by the time they were, know, they were surprised at what I could do. I also went for classes at CCO. And I did stuff like, simple things like Scratch. Um, I also went to Young Engineers for engineering classes where I did some Lego robotic classes. So then my dad, my, my dad saw that um, if you want me to get more into the deep stuff of the tech space, so um, he turned me to own coaching. We were just supervised for himself. I read five books like Ed First Python, Ed First Java, very big books. And also, it also took me to do a lot, a lot of projects, just like my school, the website I was working on for my school, and also my sister's website and also my own website. Actually, my own website, I, I just um, updated it. It, it was a, a lot worse than this before, but I'm getting better day by day. So this was one of the point I, I so while I'm doing um, uncle coaching with my dad, and I'm still doing more projects. Like I did a voice assistant just recently, and um, I'm, I'm taking an IoT course, which is the using of Arduino board, and as you saw, C++ to, program figures. And the reason why um, Arduino is so inspiring to me because you just one of the things that, that rolls, it's an open source platform. Open source that means it's free to everybody to use it, for everybody to, to play around with because it enables young people to start using pro, um, programming a robot easily. You can program a lot of things with Arduino. Arduino. Apart from Lego robotics, there are also a lot of big projects that people have done with Arduino. So I told you that if you want to do something with IoT, you should go to Arduino. Because I, I used to use the, you know, I started, when I went to my former Lego robotics school, they taught me Arduino. And actually, my, the school's website I built was, that it has more than 1,000 lines of code. A lot of code. As, as you can see, you can see the div. These are all the things that make the most, as you can see. This ones were for the Flexbox. So what's Flexbox, just to make it, when when you are near, when it has to be very explosive, you need flexbox. Also, the break tag just to break it down, so as much as you can see, if you look into the website, the text if you see the text, the text to the text has to you see some text that will go on top of each other. So that's what the break is for. Very simple techniques in web development. I also built a, also I also built a game that got me some a lot of media features. So you can see this game. It doesn't really look too nice. I've, I've actually updated this game. No, it does not look 
so great, but the new one I have is way more quality than this one. And I'm thinking of, 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 of uploading it or getting it somewhere um, soon. And also that, that, that piano, that, that um, playing of the piano I talked about earlier, also be my confidence able to speak at tech point. So what we did with me, just like getting a foot in the door, just like getting a foot in the door. We didn't, um, the idea that, why would you allow this boy, boy, this small boy speak at the age of nine? They were like, no, well, what will you start saying? We'll just start saying rubbish, but that doesn't say that they create a curriculum. And that was the first time that I've ever spoke. And it was first, it was, well, I mean, but um, I, I kept practicing, I kept getting better. So after that, someone uh, invited me to ICTEL, which I was really grateful for, thank God. And and um, it was, the person that invited me for ICTEL was actually from Tech Point. And it was really amazing to see that, so that people could allow a nine-year-old short boy to speak at their conference. And anybody can speak at any course. It does not mean your age, even if, if even if you are seven years old or six years old, as long as you have something to tell the world, anybody can do speak, anybody can do programming. Then this space, this is available. Even a, even a three-year-old baby can do programming. Also, more media features because um, you know that you know that a lot of things need to go into programming, you need to learn it. It's really simple. And they invited me for more several media features to talk. So this one was this one I saw here. I was using a I put it like a, an, an emulator. What's an emulator? Like a phone on your laptop. So this was the game. I this was the game I made. The games I made were on this place. And I, I, I also I was also talking about more of like the future of work how robots will take take over uh, over the world. So then after that, I got invited for a scholarship at Semicolon, which actually didn't just start like that. You know, I was an intern. So then, so then so Semicolon, Semicolon, if no, most of it doesn't, Semicolon is like um, is the, the social enterprise that teaches people problem solving. It would be, start from design thinking up to business development. So, and and, and then they're thinking, what? Well, why don't we try out this boy to see what you can do? And they allowed me to take the program. And after that, more young people came to that program, and there are a lot of them. So what is the lesson? Many skills today, it can help you tomorrow in the future. The fact that that piano stuff that I used to do, it helped me with baby fingers because we were like, that 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 helps me with my finger skills and also playing for a crowd also helped me with stage fright, which I overcome. Another thing is that do not let anybody despise your age. As I said earlier, that at any at any age you can do programming, you can do programming, you can do speaking. Any and there's no nobody should despise your age. At six, then I thought that this boy is too young. He cannot even get into coding at all. What can he do? Would he be, would he be playing in class? A lot of things. But not that anybody despise your age. If you have your focus, if you put your focus into what you're doing, you're going to get better. Because without focus, it's, focus is what you need to succeed in life. So um, there's power in focus. Right? So focus. And my dad and my dad had to bring me for home for home coaching. He had, he had to be sitting with me and telling me that this time for this, this time for this. Even recently, I I need, I need to like take more time to focus on the project I was given by my by my by my computer school. And he always encouraged me to focus because so that focus focus is what is going to bring you to where you are and going to bring you further than where you are. And another thing is maximize your time. Just like you're saying, the focus in they they kind of have a connection. So I want to ask you a question: What have you been doing with your lockdown time? Sorry to say, but in in this lockdown season, a lot of children have been watching TV and have become more record holders in watching Netflix. 
But what have you been doing with your lockdown time this season? Time is a perishable good and once used can never be regained. So use your regain. So use your, your time valuable. Like doing programming, even if even if it's just practicing with Lego robotics like you saw now, things that will help your brain. See, we we, we are small, we're supposed to we're supposed to them because we don't have so many things slowing down our RAM. We don't have a more result of NEPA bills, school fees. So we children should be able to focus our brains on what is most important. And I think to take a chance on life. Just like um, my tech point presentation, actually, it's like, not like nice, it, it was confusing that you let a nine year old speak at the, a very, at the serious conference and it, it wasn't like we had to like, take our foot into the door to be able to get the opportunity. Sometimes, sometimes some people will say no to you when you try to take a chance on life, but do not get discouraged. Keep trying, keep trying, and keep trying, and somebody will give you an opportunity. The last one is champions are made in the gym. If all of you know Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua is the guy that, that that, that is a, a very nice because you, you, um, you box somebody, you also have an attack. So Anthony Joshua did not just start at the, at the field, like he did not just come as a baby and started punching, punching people, punching people on, on, their, on their chest. No, he didn't just start like that. He had to be carrying weight, he had to get that muscle, he had to be doing push up every day, press ups, and all those things before he got to where he was today. So champions are made in the gym. Put in the work to be great, and you will be great. I see Anthony Joshua has gone very far because that 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 time where people were where people were playing, he was using it to work on his skills, work on his boxing, punching this punching bags, using his strength, and see where he is today. So food for thought. So my other thing, this is one percent inspiration and 99% perspiration. This means the only way you can be great in life is if you put the work into being great in life. Into being great in life. Yes, is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank, th thank you for listening to me. Thank you for watching me. It was, it was, a, really, it was a really nice time speaking with you and thank you. So do you have any questions? So guys, um, Joshua, I know how you feel about this presentation in the chat section. And if you have any questions, let us know. Raise up your hand or um, just send it to the chat section. Joshua, thank you so much for this awesome yeah. presentation. I know it, it's a privilege for everyone here to listen to you. Day and I know many of them will start something with your advice. So in the absence of no question, or I know you still be around, right? You still be here for a while. Okay, somebody asked a question. Judah or La Daniel, he said, what resources do you use? Oh, okay. What resources did I what 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 resources did I use? Um I I for programming when I was a CC job. They actually gave provided laptops for us in CC Hub. Then when I was in own country, my dad and mom gave me a laptop to practice. It was it was mainly I was using my sister's laptop to first practice, and then I was just. But you can use without using without a laptop, you can still code. If you check on the Google Play Store, there are a lot of apps coding for coding in Python, Java, JavaScript, HTML, web development. They are not there even free platforms for learning it too. One of the platforms I want to tell you is um, www.w3schools. It's a very popular site where every big game, every web brother that is coming up uses that. There's also another one called Free Code Camp that I want all of you to check out. Those will help you in programming and all those things. Okay, so I saw a question that said, what do you mean by champions are made in the gym? 
Um, what I mean is, simply what I mean in the gym means is that you have to just put the hard work for achieving your goal. That is it's simply like that. The people that work every day, that do work like Anthony Joshua, they, they succeed in life because they put the, the work that is needed to be great in life. Okay. I also have another question that what is the best programming language for building games? Um, I recommend using Unity and C Sharp. I, I recommend using Unity and C Sharp because that those, those are the best game development. That mean, get, or you can use Unreal Engine, and there are also a lot of there's Godot. But for basics, you can start with Unity Engine, Unity um, game engine. Because I have built a lot of game. But I've, I've currently built a VR game on Unity that I. That you want to test out today, I built it like one week ago. It's very easy if you want to do 3D, 2D in development, you can use Unity. Also, there's Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is very complex. And also, if you, if you don't have a, a, a computer with a RAM that's up to 16 gig, you cannot run it. Because when I tried trying on Unreal Engine, my laptop, my, my laptop was was having temperature it was it was burning it was really burning my 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 feet it, uh, my laptop nearly crashed so i had to delete the yeah, for my system but if you want to start basic you can use for 2d for 2d game development you can use love 2d and for 3d and you can use you can use unity and already engine also some that question saying that um they won't buy you everything that i that you need actually um my my mom my my, my mom um and, and my dad they they they, have to, they gave me um items that they, sometimes they let me use their phone when I was doing my game development and I was doing they gave me a laptop then and then my daddy bought me a laptop for my coding they have they really helped in in in, in make in, in this my in my coding journey this step one Yeah, yeah, yeah so here that how do you cope with schoolwork and programming? I think that would be the last thing. Oh, okay. So when I was in primary school and I had to take some time out of I we had to talk to the principal of the school so I can take a few weeks and I'll and then I'll come back a few days to start to, to start them covering up on what my there was a time, God, I, I, I needed to finish this project and it was time bound. But then I said, talk, talk to the principal, I said, like, can you go um, home for a few weeks or a, or a few days so I can put focus on this website that I want to do for your school? And they, and they agreed and then I came back to school. I revised everything. The teacher helped me. And that's how I, so I, was also, and that's how I, um, I could be able to Copy it, copy it too. Even till now, I, I I still go to my software school, but I still have to to cope up my notes, do my exams, do my tests. So um, I'm copying. And the way, the way you can copy your schoolwork and your programming is just to find some time to do it. Maybe after school, when you're done and you have nothing to do, when you're done with your homework, you can go and start trying out Scratch or Excel or Java or C sharp. I was also on that um, um, question that says, what have you recommend to use on Android? If you want to, if you want to use what you want to do game development, I recommend Unity because Unity has Unity has a lot of or, or benefits the Android, but there are a lot of games that that use Unity in the Android space. Like I forget Subway Soft uses Unity, and there, there are a lot of other games that use that use Unity. So um, thank you, thank you for listening. Joshua, so any other question? Maybe you'll be answering them through the chat session. We really have to take your time here. No Windows. I use Windows. All my laptops in this house, I use Windows. Every my brother uses Windows, my sister uses Windows, my dad uses. We all use Windows. There's no problem using Windows. Windows eight, Windows seven, Windows ten. There's no problem. I don't think Windows is better than using a Mac. Use Chromebook. Ah, Chromebook. Chromebook. Ah, Chromebook is really great. Though. 
Yeah, even using Chromebook. It's in if, if I'm using Chromebook, and almost every laptop is good for Linux is good, Windows is good, Chromebook is good, whatever system you're using is good.